Highmark Door underneath a buffalo hat, beard, and coat at Merlin's Hideout in Thermopolis, Wyoming. We'll take you for a tour of this most unique shop that makes all things buffalo, coming up on today's Wild West. The mighty buffalo, monarch of the plains, enduring symbol of the Wild West. Also known as the American bison, it was the animal the Plains Indian depended on for food, shelter, and clothing and warm buffalo robes for the cold winter. They're all blanket soft, and everyone is unique to itself. You'll find brand new buffalo robes today in Thermopolis, Wyoming, at a unique business specializing in all things buffalo, Merlin's Hideout, makers of buffalo coats, hats, mittens, vests, and more. Shipped to customers around the world in all 50 states. Hollywood noticed, Hollywood did notice including the Hollywood costume designer for the Quentin Tarantino film, The Hateful Eight. We built eight for Kurt Russell. Owners Barb and Merlin Hines have provided products for several other films, and Arnold Schwarzenegger personally came to Thermopolis to pick up the buffalo coat that he ordered. It's been fun. It's been fun. We've got to meet a lot of great people. Merlin and Barb not only make every fur product displayed in their store, plus most of the leather goods, they also tan the hides as well in their backroom tannery. It takes about 22 hours for each hide. This all started in 1998, when Merlin wanted a pair of beaver fur gaiters, the lower leggings, to keep the snow out of your boots. So instead of getting online and ordering a pair, he decided he would trap the beaver, he tanned the beaver, made the gaiters, and the animals never quit coming after that. Later, he taught himself to tan a buffalo hide. Word spread, and the rest is history. Somebody else found out we were tanning buffalo hides, and they just started showing up with buffalo. There's actually more work than you can imagine. We only take prime winter hides. Today, Merlin's buys four to 500 buffalo hides a year from ranchers who raise the animals for meat. And we actually handpick all of our buffalo hides. The tanned yes. hides are soft and beautiful, but every one is different, which yes. makes it a challenge to turn them into coats. The hardest part about making the buffalo coat is it takes two hides to make one of our coats, and it's matching the hides because no two buffalo hides look alike. But Merlin's gets it done, building about 50 coats a year, handmade in a room above the retail store. Merlin does most of the sewing himself, but Barb helps too, using a technique that hides the seam. Because when we get done, you never see that there's a seam. Merlin's is famous for its fabulous buffalo coats, but one of the more popular items it offers is the buffalo beard. Just imagine how warm this would keep you when you go snowmobiling. Add a buffalo hat, and you're all set for 30 below weather. Our buffalo beards are pretty popular. An employee came up with the idea to make use of scrap hide. I thought it was a little crazy, but I can't tell you how many thousands of them we've sold. And what may at first look like a Halloween mask is actually very practical. Snowmobilers, skiers, cross-country skiers, motorcyclists, the function of it, because it blocks all the wind, is incredible. This is no easy business. Merlin and Barb work 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week, with help from just three part-time employees. But it's a labor of love and they are committed to excellence. It's hard to find people who have the passion and the attention to detail that we require for our products. Merlin's name's on every product that goes out of here, and we have a pretty high level of quality that our customers expect. And if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's our yeah. motto. That's so true. Merlin's Thermopolis store is well stocked with a variety of buffalo and other beautiful fur products like beaver fur mittens. But almost all the buffalo coats are custom made and no two are exactly alike.